What's up? I'm MCA. What's up? I'm DJ. And we are back with another reaction video. And we are finally doing Jimmy again. Wow, it's been a while. It's been months since we've done a Jimi Hendrix song. It's been a while. Did you know I meant Jimi Hendrix, or did you think Jimmy Page? No. You knew. I figured it was Hem Hendrix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's do Jimi Hendrix Experience All Along the Watchtower. That is a long name. Already. There must be some kind of way out of here. Say the joker to the thief. There's too much confusion. I can't get no relief. Businessman there, drink my wine. Come and dig my earth. Yeah, that's um, impressive. I like how he kind of had like uh, verses and you know his little verse, and then it's like the the guitar solo was the chorus when it went back. Yeah, he does a lot of fills while he plays. Yeah. In between lines. Yeah, I like that a lot. <clears throat> but each one was different. 
A lot of strange sounds from the guitar, do you think? Yeah. And then back up. He's known for um, many things, obviously, but as far as effects pedals, he's known for using a wah. He's known for using a univibe, which gives it a, mm. like a minor wah sound. And he's known for a fuzz pedal. I didn't hear a lot of fuzz in that. Um, that sounded just like the distortion right from his Marshall amps. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you definitely heard the wah in there. There might even have been a slide in there. That part of the yeah. They might have been using a slide on that. Um, I like that. One of the, my favorite things about him <clears throat> is how relaxed he is. That's exact. That's a, that's a good way to put it. He seems to be very relaxed. Everything comes to him just so easy that it's just effortless and he'll play the the guitar and singing and it's just like easy. very relaxed and very easy and it's it's like it makes it so that it's not so produced yeah it's, you know uh, it sounds like which he probably is in a room with the other members just playing yeah versus having the drum track laid then the bass, and then guitar, and then yeah. they voice over, and then they do a guitar solo. It's it's more like it's a live performance, and it's just so effortless. It's almost like he kind of just plays around, mm -hmm. and then he's, it's just like, well, let's just hit record. Yeah, it's almost <laughs> like, you know, oh, I'm, these are the words I'm going to sing, right. and this is the guitar chord progression I'm going to do. I'm not even going to practice it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. If it comes out... Honestly, it's almost like first try. Done, and it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like about him. I don't know if anybody agrees with me that that's the way he is, but that's the way it seems to me. I, I think so. Really, really relaxed, comfortable. On the other hand, when he's on stage and he's doing his guitar solos and hitting the guitar against the front of the speaker the cabinet and running it on the you know he goes crazy yeah that's not relaxed no no that's yeah <laughs> but his voice even when he's doing that his voice always sounds really relaxed he's, you know lighting it on fire yeah <laughs> you've seen that right have yeah. i shown that to you i think you have yeah yeah <clears throat> so he can go pretty crazy but even when he does it it just seems so relaxed how does that happen how's that even possible He's gifted, man. That's true. Really talented. <laughs> that is one thing I am not. And I'm not saying, no, listen, I'm not saying yeah. that because yeah. I'm being down on myself. I'm not down on myself at all. I'm not a very good guitar player because I have literally no gift for playing guitar. Yeah. Everything that I can do on guitar is because I played for so long. Yeah. So and people that play less than me are better at doing a lot of the things just because... I just have no natural talent whatsoever. Yeah. He just seems like he was born with it. Yeah, just naturally good at this. It's one of the reasons they consider him the greatest guitar player ever lived. Yeah, I see. I have a hard time comparing because there's so many of them that are so different. Yeah. So. But I don't have a problem with people saying that. So, anyway, there's yeah. going to be more Jimmy. Please, yeah. We got a lot to do because there's a there's unfortunately not a lot of music from him because he died at 27, right? Which is a year older than you. Yeah, crazy to Can think I about. Imagine if he kept on even another 10 years or 20. Mm -hmm. Would he would he have gone disco? Disco maybe. And who <laughs> and honestly who he who he would have um you know got on a song with? Yeah. You know. But he died a year older than you. That's insane. Isn't that crazy? To think about, you feel pretty young, don't you? Yeah. Even though DJ just had his first child. And I feel old. Three months, three weeks ago, right? Four, yeah, four weeks ago, Sunday. Yeah. Four weeks Sunday. And um, that makes me a grandfather. It does. So my first grandchild, and just it's just hard to think that as young as you, you are, that you're just literally eight, nine months younger than he was, or a year younger than he was. Yeah. No, Stevie Ray, they never met. No. He was way younger when he died. Stevie Ray probably was 
9 or 10, 11-ish. I'm guessing. I don't remember when Stevie Ray Vaughan was born. But, yeah, no, they wouldn't have. There's a story where he met Jimmy's father, and you're going to correct me if I'm wrong because I don't know the the story very well. Yeah. But where he met his father and talked to him about how he was going to do a bunch of Jimi Hendrix remakes and something to do with maybe he gave him one of Jimmy's pedals to use. Okay. And I don't know the whole story. So if you know the story of that, let us know in the comments. So he must have been playing young then, um, Stevie. For no, the, I'm sure. Know. I'm sure. And he must have had, that was his idol maybe. <laughs> I don't know. There's probably a lot. Um, but he did obviously like him enough to cover a lot of his songs. And play them, I think, extremely well. He does very well. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another video. Yeah. But we've done a lot of Stevie Ray Vaughan videos. We have. I love him, too. And uh, if you want to see those, check them out. Yeah. We've got a lot of videos out. How many? 214. 214. We have 214 reaction videos. And we've been doing this for... Eight months. Eight months. It's a lot. If you haven't subscribed, please do, because it really means a lot to us, and we want to hear what you think of our videos and yeah. hear what other videos you want to hear. Yeah. I love it. I love reading the comments, too. So, be subscribed. Notified. Petrified. And horrified.